Avatar The Legend ends with 4 chapters remaining, and the latest news on the fall 2023 anime titles including a playthrough of a certain dude's VR MMO life, and as the theme songs, and the second season of the Saints Magic Power is Omnipotent is adding new cast members, and the latest news on movie titles including Kitawa Bird unveiled the main cast, The Boy and the Herald releases the trailer footage for the first time, and Gran Turismo zooms into the Labor Day weekend. What's up, this is Jeff, and this is your anime news source. This is Anime Minutes. The 331st chapter of Yu Watase's Avatar The Legend announced that the series will end in the 335th chapter after the series announced in March 2023 that the series enters its final arc. The story sends on Avatar Hinohara, a high school boy who has been bullied by an old friend since junior high. He was a ruling clan in a mystical world. Strange circumstances caused the boys to switch places and force both to deal with situations far beyond their understanding. The series was published in Shokakukan's Weekly Sonnen Sunday magazine in October 2008 and moved to Sunday Webby in May 2022 and released in 24 book volumes for the Tankable edition and 17 volumes for the Remastered edition. It was adapted into a 12 episode anime series that aired in April 2013. The official website of Sina Hoahoa and Yamaha does a playthrough of a certain dude's VR MMO life and as of the details including the theme songs for the animated series that streams on Monday, October 2nd. Miho Okasaki will perform the anime theme song The Recipe of Hope and sees also Lenny the voice of Millie, a magician with a laid-back attitude. And Sachi consists of Takumi Yoshida on vocal and guitar, Shinya Yutani on guitar, and Yoshimitsu Yamasaki on bass, performing the opening theme song Magic Writer. The cast for the anime series is Daisuke Namikawa as Taichi Tanaka, a 38-year-old office worker who loves to play video games, and Kaito Ishikawa as Earth, Daichi's avatar makes full use of skills that are said to be impossible to use, and thoroughly enjoys producing weapons and subjugating monsters. The official website of Yuka Tachibana and Yasuyuki series The Saint's Magic Power is Omnipotent and has the details including new cast members and theme songs for the second season of the anime series that streams on Crunchyroll on Tuesday, October 3rd. The additional cast for the anime series is Miyota Osaka as Oscar Dunkel, a merchant brought in by Johan Baldek to start a new company that handles potions developed by Sei. Chiaki Kobayashi as Tenyu, the 18th prince of Saidera who has a deep knowledge of plants and he wants to visit the Medicina Plant Institute. And Shinichiro Miki as Seiran, captain of the trading ship, invites Sei to the seas and impresses her. They'll join with Yui Isekawa reprising her role as Sei Takanashi, a young 20-something woman who gets transported to another world during a Sei ceremony. Aira Yuki will perform the opening theme song Semi Sweet Afternoon, and singer and voice actress Aina Suzuki will perform the ending theme song Lilac Melody. Toei Animation posted the trailer of Sigeru Mizuki's Kitao Bird, The Mystery of Jejeje, and announced the main cast for the animated film that screens in Japanese theaters on Friday, November 17th. The cast for the animated film is Toshihiko Seki as Kitao's father, a father who would eventually become Medama Oyaji and Hidenobu Kikuchi as Misaki, a salary man who heads to a cursed village under secret orders. They'll join Miyuki Sawashiro reprises her role as Kitao, together with Omeka Sochi is also reprising her role as Neko Musume. Go Koga is directing the animated film at the animation studio Toei Animation, and Hiroyuki Yoshino is writing the screenplay. The animated film is part of the big project to commemorate the centennial anniversary of the birth of Shigeru Mizuki. The official YouTube channel of G-Kids posted a trailer of Hayao Miyazaki and Studio Ghibli's The Boy and the Herald and announced the release date to be screened in North America beginning with the previous screening on Wednesday, November 22nd and regular screening on both regular and IMAX on Friday, December 8th. G-Kids unveiled the trailer footage for the animated film and this is the first time that the animated film trailer has been shown outside of Japan since the film did release the trailer in Japanese theaters. In preparation for the animated film release, they will hold a spotlight selection at the upcoming New York Film Festival in New York from September 29th to October 15th. The story sends on a 12-year-old boy Mahito Maki as he struggles to sell in a new town after his mother's death. However, when a talking heron informs Mahito that his mother is still alive, he enters an abandoned tower in search of her which takes him to another world. 
the animated film was released in July 2023 in Japan, and as of September 3rd, the animated film moves in the 80th position of the Japanese box office movies of all time with 54.54 million US dollars and 5.17 million tickets sold. Box Office Mojo reports that the live action film adaptation of Sony Pictures, PlayStation Studios, and Pony Pony Digital's Gran Turismo has earned 8.75 million US dollars in the North American box office during the four day Labor Day weekend as of September 1st, when the live action film placed fourth in the North American box office. The live action film was released last Friday, August 25th, and the film earned 17.3 million US dollars in the opening weekend for a total of 36.5 million US dollars. As of Wednesday, September 6, the live action film earned a cumulative total of 81.16 million US dollars. The live action film is based on the video game player and race car driver Yan Martin Bowo, who wishes it all to take on the most elite sport in the world. Based on the video game franchise released for the PlayStation in December 1997 and expanded into the main series, including the seventh installment, Gran Turismo 7, released for the PlayStation, including PS4 and PS5 in March 2022, and secondary releases. The franchise has sold 90 million copies, making it the best selling video game in the franchise under the PlayStation brand. If you have comments or suggestions, let us know in the comments. You can follow on my official Facebook fan page at facebook.com slash News and subscribe to my YouTube channel at youtube.com slash Giveaboy. Well, that's about it for Animated Today. It's September 7, 2023. This is Jeff, and this is Animated.